everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna open up some more trading cards. This time, we are opening something from one of my favorite Disney characters. He wasn't always, but uh, he kind of grew on me, especially since I did a lot of paintings of him. And uh, can you guess who it is? Probably, because you already saw the title. Um, we are opening some Kakawao Hot Box Stitch Cards. Um, I'm really looking forward to opening these. I had a fun, a lot of fun. I can't speak good English today. I, uh, I had a lot of fun opening the last box. Um, I, I just love, uh, it, it's, I'm sure if you collect cards yourself and have opened them, it's literally like an addiction. It's like, uh, it's kind of like playing the lottery. You basically are buying a lottery ticket and it could be good. It could be bad. Um, and with these, uh, all these Asian companies, I noticed it's really a hit and miss. Um, sometimes you'll get a ton of duplicates and sometimes you won't. Um, I will say from the Kaka Wow, if you saw my other video I had just done from Toy Story, I actually did really well. Um, I didn't get any duplicates for the base cards. Um, and I finished most of the entire set of the base cards along with, um, I got all the stickers that came with it. And uh, the only thing that is a little bit harder to get are the uh, special inserts that are limited to a lower number than 20. Um, I noticed those are much harder. Uh, the unfortunate thing I also noticed is the likelihood of submitting and getting good grades on some of these things aren't so great. I mean, they're not horrible, but uh, there's enough marks and stuff on them that you're probably not gonna get a good grade on them um the base cards are probably the best thing uh for you to get graded if you want to um i might do so i did actually get three alien cards the duplicates um which i was fine with and uh so if you wonder why i'm looking over there i'm looking at the cards um i put them in sleeves and uh i did pretty well through the entire thing uh, if you haven't already watched that video, I would suggest doing so because uh, it was actually a lot of fun. Um, it, it got a little unedited the way I wanted it to um, because I was actually, I went out yesterday with my family to uh, Hershey Park. They had a Halloween event. Um, it's nothing like, um, you know, the Disney or the Universal one. Um, it was okay. We we went in one haunted house. Um, there were, I think, a, f a total of four of them, and the lines were insane. We did wait for one. Um, we had a fast pass kind of thing through it, and um, it, it it really wasn't. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, all the medications I'm on, I have like zero um, emotions in my body. Um, so nothing scares me or anything. So people were constantly screaming at jump scares. And uh, I would just say, uh, after they jump scare you, i just say, hey, how you doing? And then uh, they kind of ignore you over the one guy's like, uh, I said, how's it going? And he's like, good. And then he goes back and hides in the corner. Um, but uh, I mean, it was decent. There was some cool effects and stuff. But uh, by the time we get to some of the other ones, there two of them were already closed and it wasn't even near the end of the evening. So that was kind of weird. I guess they assumed the line was going to be too long by the time the park closed. Um, so they closed them up. But uh, they had some cool things, some cool effects. They had some fire shooting out of some of the locations and very loud music, tons of fog machines, so much so you could barely uh, see anything. But uh, they did have a lot of people jump scaring people throughout the thing. So, uh, but uh, enough of uh, that. Let's get into uh, opening these. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I wish I had more of these, but uh, I, they're just, uh, you can only buy so many things. And uh, so let's go ahead and uh, check these out. Alrighty, so let's get started with these. As you can see in the corner, there are 20 packs and there are three cards per pack. And these are official, has the Disney hologram on there. And uh, let's go ahead and take the plastic wrap off these. I have a bunch of other stuff that's supposed to be coming here, but there's a holiday right now in China. So they are not shipping some stuff out right now. I have to wait. Um, but uh, well, just the cover alone, I, I already love these. And we'll go ahead and take all the packs out. And 
And then at the end of the video, I will recap everything that we get. Let's go ahead and just put those right there. Let's see if I can get these open easily without having to use scissors. Uh, as I noticed, there's always one of these cards that seems in every pack. Um, it just gives you uh, the um, how rare the cards are, how many there are, etc. And uh, I'll I'll post that information on this on the uh, page already. I love that card, Stitch. Very cool. Whoa, this is a base card. So uh, as you can see. It is base B01, so that is the very first card. Um, oddly, it's a stitch card. <laughs> and so we'll separate these here. I'll put them so you can see. Let's move these out of the way a little bit. And uh, here is um, what I call a scene, final scene. Final frames is what they call it, basically. So there's base characters, and then there's um, these frame cards. So we'll go ahead and put that there. <laughs> this little guy is cute. I'm not sure how many there are of these. What number is this dude? He's number 15. So uh, I kind of wish there was more cards per pack. Three's not a lot, but that's not horribly bad. Ooh, we got a die cut already, so that's cool. Let's, uh, uh, I'm assuming they're going to be a lot like the... Um, other stitch set that I opened, which were stickers, I believe, um, they had all different variations of the different experiment cards. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the die cut. So there's the, he's 36. And here's another frame card. This is from the end of the movie. And let's see what we get. Cool, we got David. Ew, David. That's, uh, if you don't know what that's from, uh, I guess you need to go watch, um, I almost said Shameless. That's not it. Um, Shit Creek. If you haven't watched that show, that's a great show. Oh, we got another die cut, so these aren't as rare as I was expecting. But, uh, yes, I think my wife's watched Shit Shit's Creek. Um, geez, like... I don't know, five or six times now. Um, it's a great show, but uh, when we when she's not sure what she wants to watch, we seem to watch that a lot. But uh, there's Houdini. I really like these cards. And by the way, none of these are cardboard cards. They're all plastic, which is a good thing for the most part. Although I did find, like I said, these look a little bit better than the Toy Story ones. I don't see really big scratches on them, so that's a good thing. But uh, I'm trying not to uh, rub them against each other. There's uh, Dr. Uh, hamster Veal. Hamster Veal, like hamster wheel. Ha, ha, ha. And that's another one of these. I really like these. I bet you if this was a USA set, that these boxes would probably be close to $200. Um, at least. Ooh, we got another cool card. Man, I'm already having fun with this set. This is looks cooler than the uh, Toy Story one. And I'm a big Toy Story fan, so um, here's another scene. And next coming up is a cool see-through plastic card. Look at that. That is cool. As you can see, it is see-through. That's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I feel like I need to put all of them in a plastic sleeve. And there is the back with the number in the corner. And that one is, we'll put there. These, all these little dots. The funny thing is, these all have like a pack. A little pack, the holes you put them on display. I actually went to and bought... Uh, you know the metal rods that you see in stores that figures slide onto? I bought a bunch of those. And figure cards that I have, I'm going to set them up on my display case that I can display packed cards. Not cards, but figures. Oh, we got another one. I think this is the same one we just got. Let's see. Not this one, but the one behind these. There's another experiment card. And then a scene from the movie. These are all, I think, at the very end when they show the postcards. 
And, oh, nope, we did get a different one. Very cool. I love these. Let's put this in a penny sleeve. I wonder if it still equals out to pennies. They call them penny sleeves, but everything is expensive these days. Let's see. Ooh, this one's cool. Slushy. These are really nice. And then there's a movie frame one. And these little things fall out everywhere. And isn't she cute? GG. That's really cool. And then that always fun card I just throw away. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get some more of these. I, I absolutely love these. We'll see how many I actually are away from finishing. There's Angel. And then there's a frame... Stitch final frames. Yeah, these these look a lot better um, condition than the Toy Story ones. Baby fear, fear, fire, baby fear, fire. I don't know, but that's uh, so far. Um, I will say the collation is much much better um, on these. We got another die cut. There's plasmoid. That's really cool. And another final scene. And we got gone to gone to. Nice. These are really cool. Getting these uh, little dots everywhere. And the last one I have a box that is from this company is um, Zootopia. So. We'll have to open that another time. I just opened Zootopia, so we'll put a hold on it maybe for a little bit. But uh, I really like these. These are really nice. Clip. I think I'm seeing a lot more of these types of aliens that weren't in previous sets. I do want to get all these, so here's hoping we can find more. I'll have the odds of everything at the end. And there's Lilo. And a final scene, final frame scene. And what is this? This is totally different. Look at this one. Nice, it's really cool. And this is an SPR card. Cuteness loading. That's really cool. We'll put that, um, I'm going to just for now, so I don't get these wrecked. I feel like every card needs to be in one. The only thing is I, I can't get these into the binders with the plastic sleeves on them. They don't fit very well. Um, well, let's get rid of this. Oh, we got another die cut, so that's good. Let's straighten this out. I wish I had more of these. I want to open more. <laughs> it's like, a, it's very addicting. I don't know. I didn't open cards for quite some time. I used to collect all Star Wars ones, and then I wasn't into Star Wars as much. So I have a ton of that stuff sitting around. I'm going to send some of it to my friend David. And uh, Lord of the Rings cards out the wazoo. And uh, baseball cards I'm not into really anymore, um, since I don't work on it. But uh, I always love Disney, so this is GG. But uh, these are a lot of fun. Look at that dude. Oh, I hope he can see well. It's uh, heat. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure we haven't got any dupes yet. That's really good. Hope I got this upside down. This guy's, this guy's laying on his back. Ooh, Bonnie. That one's cute. These are beautiful cards. Definitely worth it. Uh, slugger. I like to know how many. I like to know how many actual alien experiment cards there are. Oh, we got something new coming up. Stitch final frames and look at that. 
Grand Councilwoman B U R stitch card. That is cool. Let's go ahead and put this in a sleeve also. Just so I don't, I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch them up. These little dots are driving me crazy. Ooh, ooh, we got another cuteness load, and I hope it's not the same one. There we go, Yang. And Stitch Final Frames. And, ooh, we got a new one. It's from Beauty and the Beast. It's Stitch as Beauty and the Beast, or The Beast. Very cool. Let's, uh, let's leave that one. Oops, if I can see what I'm doing there. And, uh, yeah, I enjoyed that last stitch set, but I think I like this one more. I will link to the other stitch one at the end of this. This yin. That's really cool. Did you notice it's really quiet in here? That's because I'm the only one here. <gasps> Uh-oh. Did we just get a dupe? I think we did. Oh, bummer. So let me just check real quick. I'm pretty sure we did. I know it was toward the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, was that a totally different card? Oh, what was that from? I'm pretty sure we saw that. I lost my mind. Doctor, yeah, because I said Doctor Hamsterville. Where the hell did I put that? Nah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to just put that one there for now. Oh, was he on here? Maybe he was. See how good my memory is? Yeah, there he is. Okay. I, I was going to say, I knew the picture looked familiar. So we got two different variations. And that's good. I thought maybe we had a dupe. But yes, I, I love the coalition on these. Much, much better um, than the other one. Oh, I hope I didn't scratch that. Alrighty. Boop. Junk. Ooh. Hol Holio? Holio. 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 And another stitch scene. Uh, seriously, these things fall out everywhere. Hammer face for the win. I like that one. That is cool. Seriously, these are beautiful, beautiful cards. Definitely got to get more of these. If you guys are ever interested and I can do an order so that um, we can get a better deal on prices, if anyone is interested in the set or getting these, let me know so you don't have to pay crazy eBay rates. Final frame. Because I will only charge you exactly what it costs to get and to ship. I'm not one of those people who find it necessary to gouge people. Because that is not cool. I don't need to make a profit. I just want people to have fun and enjoy. That's why I'm broke. <laughs> I've always helped others before myself. Always. Drowsy. That's how I feel all, all the time. At least... Uh, by the end of the day, we got Hammer Face again. But I know this, that was a different card. But these are so cool. We did really well. Um, I don't think any duplicates, which is awesome. Because I did get some in the Toy Story set, but I kind of knew that because there's way more sticker cards. There's another dude, Elastico, that looks really cool. But... Um, yeah, we did really well. And these, like I said, these cards are beautiful. Um, I don't know how to explain, like, you can see they're pretty thick. And they are of a, a plastic material. And our last one. Mm, meh, that's sad. I want more. These were so much fun. Ooh, we got one more uh, see-through one. Hookah. Hunka, 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 hunka. I think it's hunka, 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 bird in love. Sorry, I can't sing very well. And 
stitch. And look at this beautiful card. Absolutely awesome. Well, I'll have to say, these were awesome. Um, like I said, I guess you're... There's, can you see that? Uh, there's a line right... There's a line right there. But I don't really plan on getting them... Because then, you know, if... I don't know. I don't need them graded so much. Some of them would be cool, but I'll just put them in a binder like I did my other ones. So uh, we got three of these. What's the numbers on them? I did notice usually with the cards that you get um, aren't all over the place, although somewhat on the last set, um, there was a big jump. Uh, I think I was missing all the 20s and uh, cards on the other set that I opened. But these are all se sequential, four, five, and six. Okay, and then these were three and four. That one's by itself. Let's check these. I really feel like I need to, I'm, I'm not gonna pull these across. So we got, okay, so we got seven. I'm trying not to, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, you're not all over the place. So that's a good thing. Cause then I'm assuming, you know, Let's see, what was the first one? Was it a one? Okay, so like one through six is probably in another box and so on. It seems to be that way. Um, but these are these are really nice. Uh, seriously, this would be so expensive for all these die cuts in a USA set. And look at all these. These are the main base set, I believe. But uh, I'm not going to go through all these numbers. But... Uh, I'm assuming we probably might have the majority of the set right here by the looks of the numbers. So that's good. So really, you shouldn't need too many boxes except for the ultra rare ones like this one here, um, which is numbered 11. But uh, I'll show you at the end all the different cards that are, are included with this, along with all these beautiful little blue dots everywhere that fell out of the packaging. But uh, uh, let me know what you think of these. Um, would you like to see more opened? I mean, obviously I wanna get some more of them. So uh, let me know. And then uh, if you're interested in, uh, we could buy a bunch uh, at one time and then I can either open them for you on my channel or you can do it on your own. I don't really, it doesn't matter to me. Whatever works for you, just let me know. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the cards. I absolutely love them. I would definitely uh, thumbs up on these. Way better than any other sets that I've opened, especially the unofficial ones. Um, those are really all over the place. Um, but these, they at least use their noggin a little bit and getting what per packs and stuff. Hell, these are better collated than um, tops. Yeah, I said it. Um, I don't work for them anymore, so <laughs> whatever. Um, but I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I, I, you know, honesty is, is my policy. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these. I really did. So uh, let's, let me show you uh, what the rest of the cards are. And uh, please do subscribe and like the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to thank all my new followers. We're getting close to 3,000. Um, which is cool. Um, my goal, I, I, I'm not greedy, but I I would like to get to 100,000 at some point. Um, <clears throat> so who knows? Let's uh, keep trying and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon and you guys have a magical day. Bye-bye.